Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. So today we're going to try doing a, a Gorilla Explorers video. We are in Crosshaven and I'm going to try to find a place called Camden Fort. I've never been here so I don't know what it's going to be like. Pictures look cool though. So it's just an old fort that used to defend one of the entryways into Cork Harbour. It's um, a sister fort, I suppose, or a brother fort, whatever way you want to describe it, a sibling fort to uh, Charles's fort, which I did a video on before. Look up there, um, I'll put an old info card to the video. Uh, today, though, we're going to actually try to walk around the fort if possible, because when I went to Charles's fort today, it was too late in the evening and I couldn't get in there, so today hopefully we'll see a bit of the fort. All things going well. But anyway, I'll cut back and we're going through the town, show you a bit of the town, and then hopefully when we're closer to the fort itself. So, we're now in Crosshaven. As I said, a very pretty little town. And to get to the fort, as far as I know, all you do is kind of follow the water around to the headland. So, that's what we're going to do. Also, I don't know if there's any notice, but I'm shooting in a different video style today, so hopefully it's a bit better. So anyway, as I said, all we're going to do is keep following this road around and hope we reach the fort. This is a cool road. It's all like local access by the looks of it, but... I'm just hoping it gets us to where we need to go. And this is a point I've made about motorbikes before. I would not um, be overly excited about driving a car on this road. I'd imagine it's uh, pretty dodgy. Camden Lodge. So hopefully we're going the right way. We're probably, <laughs> we're probably not, but we'll keep going until we come to an end. Oh, private road. I'm in the wrong place. Turn around. That is a nice view. I mean, I suppose this is kind of the point of Girl Explorers. Get lost a little bit. See, can I find where we're supposed to be going? Camden, there you go, this looks like the right way. Oh. I will say one thing, this bike is so much harder to maneuver than the phaser. The phaser, like, you just feel like you could sling it around anywhere, you know? It'll be at home. This one's a, a little bit more awkward to throw around the place, but you know. It's still fine. It's still a lot lighter and more nimble than I expected it to be. Camden Ford. This looks like the right place. Car park. So, we have arrived at the fort. I'm not sure what the crack is going to be with recording here. Um, will it be possible to do it properly? But we'll find out. See, the thing is, right... I'm just not gutsy enough to uh, I'm just not gutsy enough to record in front of most people because there's not really a done thing here in Ireland yet the whole vlogging thing so people kind of look at you funny but on the plus side most people think I'm semi-insane anyway so what that means is they'll probably just assume I'm talking to myself like I tend to do anyway so I'm just going to try this. I don't know how it's going to work out with the, um, the GoPro handheld, but there's the entryway. That's the moat down there, and that's the fort. So if you read this, just give it a quick pause if you want. Have a read of that, but basically the moat was redone because it was kind of falling apart. And you can see all the, old, the growth. It was kind of getting overgrown, but they've cut it back a lot. And um, they've 
obviously restored the sides of the building and obviously down in the moat because it's all nicely cut grass. So they've done a serious job in fairness. And this is just the entryway. Um, the moat read back on the sign back there that it was carved out by convict labour. So all of that was dug out by hand from the headland, which is kind of insane because it's fairly hard rock, I would imagine, and plenty of it. So we're now in Fort Camden. Six euro in, really reasonable. Um, it's really well restored. I don't know. I don't know how long this was active for. Um, I'll try to find out and I'll, I'll mention it again. But those exhibitions. So this is the soldiers' old barracks where they used to sleep. Um, and there's exhibitions in there. I'll probably go to them later myself. I don't want to be bothering people um, recording while they're in there. So I'm just going to give you a quick walk around tour of Camden Fort. I'm really glad it's quiet. So it's kind of towards the end of the day, it's open till about 5, so I have to leave at 5, but admission is there until around about half 4 I think. But for 6 euro in, it's absolutely fine. Um, 6 euro per person to maintain all this, and they do family passes and stuff as well, it's really really reasonable. There's a cafe here. Lots of underground sections. Um, there's really good views. So if you're a wannabe photographer like myself, it's not a bad place to be. This is the gunpowder magazine. Oh, I'm so glad it's quiet here. It's not loads of people. So you don't know what a gunpowder magazine is? That's why they used to store gunpowder. It was generally underground, so that if people shelled the place, um, you know, they wouldn't be able to hit the gunpowder and blow it up. Ooh, a spiral staircase. I have to say, I really like old underground sections in these type of places. Very cool. Well, that's handy. There's a view of the fort from above. I don't own a drone, so I couldn't have shown you that. <laughs> this might be a future exhibition. It's not one yet. An old gun. And a tiny, tiny Irish tank. This is kind of a pity, obviously. This probably used to be part of it, but it's all kind of falling asunder. That's why it's important people keep visiting these places so they can, uh, so they can keep, keep up keeping them, you know, restoring them. So this wasn't, this hasn't been open that long. They, um, <laughs> they have to do a lot of restoration work on it, from what I've read, because it was falling apart. I'm really glad they were still restoring places like this because it's really cool. Charles's Fort is probably actually a bit smaller than this, um, but also really worth visiting. And also, if you ever want to go to Spike Island, yeah, that's really, really cool too. Spike Island is, is an excellent visit, but I would recommend um, trying to get out as early as possible and staying there for as long as possible because it's... Uh, you need a lot of time to walk around it. So as you can see, there's really fantastic views around here. When I'm finished with the camera work, I'm going to take out my other camera and take lots of pictures. There's the bathroom. So here's the old sleeping quarters. Or the billets. Just a hats off to the restoration work. They've done serious effort here. The mannequins are creepy. Lucinda here.
looks like she's, she's gonna eat me when I turn around. I really hope she doesn't, because Doctor Who kinda destroyed statues for me, to be honest. <laughs> any, any statue that's even kinda similar to a weeping angel absolutely terrifies me now. This is a gallery. Someone who's far more talented at pictures than I'll ever be, I would imagine. Look at that. That is a pretty picture. So this room's a bit bare, but it's it's all about the photography, so. Free advertisement for Ted. On Ted. So if you see anyone with them um, blue t-shirts around, they're volunteers who work here to guide people around the place and I only asked one question so far but it was really helpful and the fact of volunteers is very impressive. So we have a World War One room. I'll do a quick scan around it. A naval room and a gunner's room. So I'm gonna start at the gunner's room in the hope there's no one there and work my way back. This is the gunner's room and this is cool. Oh, lots of kind of artillery and stuff in here. Ooh, there's a mirror there. I'm gonna dodge that. I have to say, out of all of the forts I've kind of been to, um, this one's really well put together. There's like lots of stuff here. It's really well laid out. Um, I'm really, really impressed. So, visit Crosshaven and visit Fort Camden. How are we getting on? This is the naval room. By the way, if, if some of the rooms I don't speak in, I'm just gonna zoom through them. It's because the people are in there. Like I said, I don't want to disturb them, so. They paid in just like me, so. They deserve their quietude. This is cool. This has been Fort Camden. And I've been your really bad tour guide, the gorilla biker. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, um, please hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll hopefully do more of these videos. I do like enjoy doing them, but you know you need a full day to do them, so I don't know how often I'll get to do them. Here's a here's a little bit I didn't realize you could even go down. So that's just like straight off the main entryway. You can walk down here, it kind of dodges the signs for the tour. Um, but if you just walk straight down along, you can get really nice views. One last thing I felt I should mention, as I was speaking to uh, the people who work here and I was on my way out, um, this entire fort since 2010 has, um, has been restored by volunteers and volunteers only, so I think that's incredible, um, to be honest, because to me this is more impressive than both Charles's fort and in certain aspects Bike Island because it's just so well put together. Um, so an absolutely huge hats off to the volunteers who've done all this work and if you're in Cork uh, and you have any interest in this make sure you come here and uh, you know give them your six euro and your time and hopefully we can keep stuff like this going all right now it's really goodbye for me <laughs> adios